This call is now being recorded. <clears throat> Students, good morning. Good morning, sir. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Very good. How is the uh, visual? Is it okay? Audio and video? Yes, sir. Perfectly. Perfect. Very good. In the last class, we have discussed about T network, right? T type two port network. Okay. In that, what are the points that we have discussed? Can you tell me? Do you remember? Image impedances. Okay. Characteristic impedances and image transfer constant. All these things we have discussed for T type network. Okay. We have done some examples also. In today's class, we will discuss about the same points for the network is Pi network today. Okay. Actually, what is image impedance? Can you tell me? For any network, two image impedances will be there. That is ZI1 and ZI2. We will find ZI1 by connecting ZI2 at the second port, across the second port. And then find ZI1 from the first port. If you want to find out ZI2, you connect ZI1 across the first port and then find ZI2 from the second port. So that is the method, right? In the same way, characteristic impedance, we denote it by ZT1 and ZT2. For finding ZT1, we connect ZT2 across the road. For finding ZT1, we have to kind of connect ZT1 across the second port and then ZT1 from the first port, we have to find. For finding ZT2, we have to connect ZT2 across the first port and then find Z T2 from the second port. That is the way of finding characteristic impedance. Okay? And what about image transfer ratio? This is nothing but e power 5 is equal to log of 2 log i1 by i2 plus log z i1 by z i2. That we have already derived. We will say about the same thing, same point for the phi network. Okay? We'll see about the fine network now in the today's class. It looks like here also we take three impedances. So this one is first to port and this one is Second port. Do you remember every port will have two terminals, positive terminal and negative terminal. Okay, here one one dash is first port and two two dash is second port, and the impedances are ZA, ZB, and ZC. We are using the same impedances for TL network also. We have used ZA, ZB, and ZC, but the connection is different here. These look like pi, and those in the T network, those who connections will look like. That impedance will look like a T, right? Let us find out now image impedances ZI1 and ZI2. I told you for finding ZI1, for finding ZI1, you connect ZI2 across second port. Just understand, try to understand, remember this point. For finding ZI1, we connect ZI2 across second port and then find out ZI1 from the first port. As if the current is flowing, you assume the current is flowing into the network like this, I, I1. And the voltage across this is V1. So V1 by I1 will be, will be ZI1 now. Okay? Instead of finding, uh, using this KVL, across KVL in first loop and second loop, we can directly find out by using that formula ZI1 is equal to root of Z10 into Z1S. That is, those are the impedances. When output is open, that is Z10. When the output is short circuited, that is what Z1S. Root of Z10 to Z1S is nothing but ZI1. We use that formula for finding the ZI1 for this phi network. Okay? Or you can directly use the, uh, this logic. ZI1 is equal to these two are in parallel, parallel combination, this in series with ZC, and the total combination is in, in series with ZA. Like that also you can find out. Okay, it takes longer time. So instead, instead of that, we will find out Z10 and then Z1S and then multiply these two to get ZI1. 
is V1 by I1 when second port is open, that is I2 equal to 0. Okay, have you understood students? Z1 0 0 means second port is open. S means second port is sorted. Okay, this one represents we are looking from the first port. Okay, try to understand like that. Z10 is equal to V1 by I1 when I2 is equal to 0. And then find out Z10 now. So for when I2 is equal to 0, the second port will be opened. So this I2 will be equal to 0. When it is opened, the ZB and ZC will be in series. Okay, so Z10 is equal to. So looking from this end, let us find out Z10 now. Z10, it is open. These two are in series. So ZB plus ZC. ZB plus ZC. This combination is in series or parallel. This I1 is split into two currents. So this series combination is parallel with the ZA. So this is nothing but now Z10. See, I2 is equal to 0. So same current will flow through. ZC and ZB, these two will be in series. But here the I1 is split into two currents. Okay? So this combination is, will be in parallel ZA. So I denoted, it is denoted by this parallel lines here. Okay? This combination is in parallel with ZA. In that way, we find out Z10, which is equal to this term into this term divided by total. So ZB plus ZC into ZA by ZA into ZB plus ZC. So we got Z10 now. For ZA1, we got this Z10, which is equal to ZB plus ZC into ZA by ZA into ZA by ZA plus ZB plus ZC. ZA plus ZB plus ZC. So I think you know this formula for parallel combination. If RA and RB are parallel, then it will be RA into RB by RA plus RB. Okay, this is the formula for parallel combination. I use the same formula. See, RA is nothing but ZA plus ZB plus ZC and RB is, let us say, ZA. So multiply these two and then add the, these two terms in the de denominator. So ZB plus ZC into ZA by ZA plus ZB plus that's it. So we can remove, we can denote this ZA plus ZB plus ZC by sigma ZA. Sigma ZA. So Z10 we have found. Okay, Z10 we know now. What is that? So Z10 is ZB plus ZC into ZA by sigma ZA. I will write like this. ZB plus ZC by ZA by sigma Z A is nothing but Z one zero. Now let us find a Z one S now. Z one S is equal to this one represents V one by I one. When second port is sorted, that is V two equal to zero. Now sort this now. V two is sorted. When it is sorted, this Z A Z B will become zero. This is short circuit, zero impedance, zero impedance thing is zero. So the circuit will be reduced to, when it is sorted, the Z will be set to zero. Okay? Z will be set to zero. So I just I am removing this. Okay? And then reducing the network like this. So the network will have now, the two point network will have only Z A and Z C now. Then what is Z1S now, looking from this end, Z1S is equal to, the current is split into two, so ZA is in parallel with ZC. So Z1S is equal to ZA in parallel with ZC, which is equal to ZA, ZC by ZA plus ZC. So what is ZA1 now? The substitute here, Z10, we have already found out, the Z1S is nothing but ZA into ZC by ZA plus ZC. So substitute in that, then you will get ZA1 is equal to this is nothing but Z1S is ZA, ZC by ZA plus ZC. Now, so now ZA1 will be equal to 
under root under root under root zda into zb plus zc by sigma zda means zda plus zb plus zc sigma zda means and into z1 ac is zda zc by zda plus zc this is nothing but zda1 now zda into zda is zda1 zda square so finally you will get zda1 is equal to under root zda square into zda plus zc by sigma zda sigma zda zda1 okay then how to find out zda2 can you tell me how zda2 can be found out now how the diagram will be for finding zda2 zda1 will be connected across port 1 and zda2 is determined from the second port so the diagram first will be like this open yes first port will be open sir first you have to draw the circuit for zda1 and zda2 is it not for finding zda2 zda2 is nothing but the impedance from the second port okay try to understand I'll draw again here. So this is the given circuit. Let us say okay, one one dash, two two dash, Z A, Z B, Z C. these are the three impedances we need to find out zi2 first to find to sort of try to understand for finding zi1 zi1 is loop is will be from the first port and zi2 will be connected to the second port now we want zi2 now so we need zi2 just put a arrow mark like this zi2 is to be determined from the second port then you connect zi1 here in the across the first port z1 this is the first type in the okay, in the diagram this is the first diagram uh, to be drawn for finding z2 okay then how to find out z2 for finding z2 i'll erase here for finding z2 for finding z2 we can use this formula which is equal to under root Tell me, can anyone tell me? Z I two is equal to. We can use open circuit and short circuit now. Impedances. Z since it is Z I two, Z two zero into Z two yes. Okay. We should find out Z two zero and Z two separately and then multiply those two and put them under root to get Z I two. Have you followed now, students? Okay. Now to find out Z two zero now. First, find out Z two zero and then Z two yes. Z two two zero and then Z two yes. Okay, this is the initial diagram and then let us find out Z two zero now. Z two zero we want. Z two two zero is nothing but tell tell me now. Z two two zero means V two by I two. Okay, V two by I two. Okay. Z two zero is V two by I two when I one is equal to zero. That means first port should be open. Let us find out now Z two zero from this diagram. For finding Z two zero, we need to look from the second port node. Now it is Z two zero, not Z I two. Z two zero you find out. Okay, I one is zero means open the first port. When if you open the first port, you will get I one equal to zero, right? now find out z20 how to find out z20 looking from this end we start calculating from the other end from the other end these two are in series are parallel this is open so the current which entered this i2 will split into two currents let it be i2 dash and or ia and ib let us say 
So IA is flowing through ZC and ZA. So these two are in series now. ZA plus ZC. Okay, and uh, this series combination is parallel to ZB. Why? Because two different currents are flowing parallel to ZB. So this is nothing but Z two zero. If we simplify this, we will get ZB into ZA plus ZC by sigma ZA. I am right, directly writing ZA plus ZB plus ZC is nothing but sigma ZA. So we got now Z two zero. Next, find out Z two S. Okay, Z two zero is over. I will write it here. Z two zero. Z two zero is equal to Z B into Z A plus Z C. Z A plus Z C by sigma Z A. Z two zero is over. Now let us find out Z two S yes, now. Z2S is equal to 2 means V2 by I2. S means short circuit the other port. That is V1 is equal to zero. Now short circuit this. Short circuit this, and then find out Z2S. Students, are you following? Chapter one, class one, na? Okay, V2S means V2 by I2 when first port is shorted, right? I hope you followed. Now find out Z2 is from this end. From this end, see current I2 is split into two. Okay. Now this I A is flowing. Here, what is happening? The short circuit is in parallel with this. So Z A will become zero. Then circuit will be reduced to network having only two impedances now, I B and I C. So I2 is split into I A and I B. So Z B and Z C are in parallel. So Z2 is is equal to Z B in parallel with Zc, which is equal to Zb into Zc by Zb plus Zc. Zb plus Zc. So Z2s is known, Z20 is known. So Zi2 will be equal to now. Zi2 will be equal to under root Z20 into Z2s. Just substitute, just substitute these these terms. Z2s is Zb into Zc by Zb plus Zc. And Z to two zero is Z B into Z A plus Z C by sigma Z A. You substitute that, you will get Z I two. Okay. Next, we will say about characteristic impedance. It can also be called as iterative impedance. It is generated by Z T one and Z T two. Two characteristic impedances will be there for asymmetric network. Okay, for a symmetric network, Z T1 and Z2 T2 will be same. We denote it that we denote it by Z0. Characteristic impedance will be Z0 when Z T1 is equal to Z T2. So already said, Z T1 is nothing but the impedance looking from the first port and across the second port, Z T1 is connected. For Z T2. That T2 is connected across the first port, and looking from the second port, that it is calculated. Okay, small difference is there for finding ZA1 and ZA2 and ZT1. For finding ZA2, for finding ZA1, what do you do? ZA2 is connected across the second port, and ZA1, ZA1 is found from the first port. For finding ZA2, ZA1 is connected across the first port, and ZA2 is evaluated. In case of this. Characteristic impedance for finding Z T one. Z T one is with respect to first port only. So we have to connect Z T one across the second port. Okay. And for finding Z T two, connect Z T two across the first port and find out Z T two from the second port. Okay. You will be using the same impedances for finding for uh, characteristic impedance. We will be using the same impedance for finding the first impedance that Z T one. You connect Z T one across the second port. For finding Z T two, connect Z T two across the first port and find out Z T two from the second port. Okay, I'll draw the circuit now. For finding characteristic impedance, characteristic impedance of an asymmetrical network. If you know, if you can find out the characteristic impedance of asymmetric network, for finding characteristic impedance of second uh, symmetric network, what do you do? Just put Z A is equal to Z B, then you will get same impedance. That is Z T one will be equal to Z T two when Z A is equal to Z B. 
Well, let us find out characteristic impedance. So there will be two characteristic impedance. Remember, there is ZT1 and ZT2. First, let us find out ZT1. Let I told you, ZT1 means we will find ZT1 from the first port and connect ZT1 across the second port, not ZT2, connect ZT1 across the second port. Okay? This one is ZA, this is ZB and this is ZC. How to find out is ZT1 now looking from this, this end? We start calculating the independence from this end. The current is flowing into the network like this, pitch into two. Okay? Okay, let this be IC. IC is split into two current. So, see, these two will be in parallel. So, this parallel combination will be in series with this. Okay? And this, this total combination will be parallel with this. In that way, you can find out ZT1. Let us see, you know, from, from this end, if you come, these two are in parallel. So, ZB parallel with ZT1. Okay? This parallel combination is in series with ZC. So put plus, that's it. So now this combination, okay, this combination will be in parallel with ZA. Okay, that is a way of finding impedance ZT1 from the first port. I hope you understood this. Then after simplifying this, you get a quadratic equation. I will write that quadratic equation directly. Why? Because I have already given the sequence of steps in the notes. But try to understand that. Let's only simplify this. You can, you can get that quadratic equation. How you simplify this ZB is parallel to ZT1 means ZB into ZT1 by ZB plus ZT1. Then add with ZC, you will find some expression. That will be in parallel with ZC. So after, after simplifying that, you will get you will get a quadratic equation that is that is ZA plus ZB plus ZC into Z T1 square plus ZB ZC minus ZA ZC into Z T1 minus ZA ZB ZC equal to 0. Since it is a quadratic equation, you will get two roots, that is Z T1 will have two values. Okay. What is the formula for quadratic equation? That is minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. This a, this one is a, this one is b, and this is c. Okay? You have to consider only the plus sign. Why? Right? Because the impedance cannot be negative. So consider only plus sign. If you consider only plus sign, the ZT1 will be equal to ZT1 will be equal to ZT1 ZT1 will be equal to ZA ZC minus ZB ZC plus under root ZA ZC minus ZB ZC whole square plus 4 sigma ZA into ZA ZB ZC ZA ZB ZC by 2 into sigma ZA by 2 into sigma ZA where the sigma ZA is equal to ZA plus ZB plus ZC Okay, so this is nothing but ZT1, and uh, ZT2 also you can find out. For ZT2, you connect ZT2 across port one, and then find out ZT2 from the second port. Okay, I just draw the circuit. For finding ZT2.
what we have to do tell me students for finding zt2 zt2 connect to be connected across first port or second port tell me for finding zt1 we have connected zt1 across the second port okay and we have calculated zt1 from the first port for finding zt2 zt2 should be connected across the first port and should be determined from the second port right so we should look from this end zt2 and then connect same impedance across the first port zt2 so we will look from this end okay these two will be parallel this combination will be series with this then the total combination will be parallel with zc and that we will find out zt2 and then it will be get reduced to a quadratic equation okay it will be almost similar to zt1 only only that uh, first two expression will be interchanged the terms in the first expression that is zb zc that is zc will be interchanged here so zt2 will be equal to zb zc minus za zc plus under root the same expression which we have got in the first for zt1 same expression okay by 2 into sigma za this is zt2 okay if uh, network is symmetric if the network is symmetric this za will be zb will be equal to zc that is z for a symmetric network z11 is equal to z22 so here for symmetric network zb is equal to zc you just substitute this in the expression z1 and z2 then you will get z1 is equal to z2 for a symmetric network it will be equal to we denote it by z0 pi which is equal to za zc by under root zc square plus 2 za zc okay and this is nothing but this is nothing but z 0t i have already evaluated in the earlier class so z a z c by you can write z 0t okay this is nothing but z 0t z t is plus 2 z a z c so the students can you hear me okay aditya సర్ ఓకే కదా క్లాస్ వినపడుతుందా క్లియర్ గానే కిన వినపడుతుంది సర్ ఓకే ఓకే అదే కామ్ గుంట్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ కాన్స్టెంట్ ఆఫ్ అసిమెట్రికల్ అండ్ సిమెట్రికల్ ఫైన్ నెట్వర్క్ వి కాల్ ఇట్ ఇమేజ్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ కాన్స్టెంట్ ఓకే ఫై ఈ పవర్ ఫై ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఇన్పుట్ పవర్ బై అవుట్పుట్ పవర్ దట్ వి హావ్ ఆల్్రెడీ డిస్కస్ ఇన్ ది లాస్ట్ క్లాస్ ఓకే ఇప్పుడు నెక్స్ట్ క్లాస్ మనం అటెండేషన్ స్టార్ట్ చేయొచ్చు అటెండేషన్ తో చాలా వరకు అయిపోతుంది థర్డ్ యూనిట్ ఇమేజ్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ కాన్స్టెంట్ ఇమేజ్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ కాన్స్టెంట్ యూనిటెడ్ బై ఫైవ్ unit transfer constant is generated by phi already discussed about this is equal to e by e power phi is equal to v1 i1 by v2 i2 volt amperes you cannot say it has a power power measured in volt amperes we are ignoring this power factor here cos phi okay but v1 by i1 is equal to z1 and v2 i2 v2 by i2 is equal to z i2 that is you should understand <coughs> so finally it will be equal to phi is equal to i have already derived it is equal to log 2 log i1 by i2 i1 by il il is the current flowing through the load that is z i2 plus log z i1 by z i2 the z i1 can be found by using that 
formula that is equal to that i1 is equal to under root z 1 0 to z1 s for any network you can do you can use that formula and z i2 is equal to under root z2 0 into z2 s okay so our aim is now to find out this i1 by il and z i1 by z i2 z i1 by z i2 we can use that formula root of z10 to z1 s for z i2 you can use that formula z20 to z2 s but i1 by l how to find out by using kvl applying kvl to the loops in the given two port network uh, just i will draw the two port network and, that, and make you understand i will not do completely i think uh, you can try to you try to understand the given nodes okay I just draw the diagram and then explain this phi network let us consider this is z a z b z c this is the given network okay you should have understand the concept well actually the current i2 will be flowing into the network here i1 will be flowing into the network and here z i2 is connected z i2 so i2 through i2 il will be flowing like this so what is the relation to i2 and il i2 will be equal to minus il or il is equal to minus i2 okay and uh, voltage across this is v1 and voltage across this is v2 and current flowing into the network i2 here current flowing into the network is i1 and uh, this is z i1 okay z i1 is equal to v1 by i1 and z i2 is equal to v2 by i2 okay i followed who have already derived that i1 is equal to that i1 is equal to z a square into z c into z b plus z c just now we have derived divided by z a plus z c into sigma z a okay under root z i2 is equal to we have derived z b square into z c into z a plus z c by z b plus z c into sigma z a under root this just now we have derived okay so in, again you need not find but in the examination you don't write directly this expression okay use that formula you find out z10 z1s and then put them under root multiply z10 z1s and put them under root to find out z you will get the same thing okay in the examination they may give some other network that means phi network only with different values for example is 200 300 and 400 like that then you use from the first principles if you remember the formula you just apply the formula and get the answer okay then for finding i1 by il how to find out the ratio of i1 and il to apply kvl to these two loops okay let us consider let, let this be loop number 1 and let this be loop number 2 just for finding the ratio of i1 and il i am considering these two loops i am not considering this loop okay can anybody tell me how to find out the equation corresponding to this loop what is the current let the current be ic is flowing okay and here il is flowing okay for the first loop to start from here we are moving in the direction of ic so minus zc into ic okay in this branch ic is moving down and il is moving up so here it will be ic minus il ic minus il we have to just for il i am finding i am not considering i2 okay il why because we need the ratio i1 by il so i minus zb into ic minus il okay then plus we are moving against the direction of current here now actual current moving down is what i1 minus ic is moving down so plus ZA into I1 minus IC equal to 0. Okay. So after simplification, you will get minus sigma ZA, that is ZA plus ZB plus ZC into IC plus 
जेड बी इंटू ई एल प्लस जेड ए इंटू ई वन ईक्वल टू जीरो नंबर वन ना अप्ले केवल टू से लूप नौ स्टार्ट फ्रम दिस पॉइंट मूव इन दिस डन आफ ईएल सो यू गेट मैनस जेड ई टू इंटू ई एल मूव अगेन द करे सो प्लस जेड बी इंटू जेड बी इंटू ईसी मैनस ई एल ईक्वल टू जीरो ओके then finally this equation will be il is equal to zb by zb plus zi 2 into ic equation number 2 you just substitute this il in this equation not il ic so from this we get ic is equal to this plus ic is equal to zb plus zi 2 by zb Into I L. We substitute I C in this equation. Okay, I C in this equation. We will get in terms of I one and I L. So that I one and I L I L ratio will be after substitution. I one by I L will be equal to sigma Z A by Z B. Sigma Z A by Z B into Z B plus Z I two. Minus Z B divided by Z A divided by Z A. So now we got the ratio I one by L. Just substitute in that. What is that uh, expression for transfer constant? Give me transfer constant. That is phi is equal to phi is equal to two log I one by I L plus log Z i one by Z i two. These two already know you have derived. This in place of i one by i l, you just substitute this. Okay, in that way we got this image transfer constant. Okay. With this, today's class is over. In the next class, we'll do some examples on this. Okay, we'll do some examples. And before that, you should find out this image transfer function for a. For a symmetric network, for a symmetric network, Z A will be equal to Z A will be equal to Z B. When Z A is equal to Z B, Z A one will be equal to Z A two. So it will be log one. What is log one? Log one to any base will be equal to zero. So for a symmetric network, we'll, we need to find out only this two log into I one by I L. Right? I hope you understood well. In the next class, we'll do some examples so that the concept will be clear. So I'll take attendance now. So give your attendance. So Chaturya. Present, sir. Two, three, four. Aditya. Present, sir. Very good. Soumya. Present, sir. B. Sinivas. Absent. Pratyusha. Present, sir. Jina. Present, sir. Jina. Venu. Venu absent. Harshita, present sir. Sai Ram, present sir. Ranadip, I'm Ranadip. College go chow. Bhavani, present sir. Anil, present sir. Devati. Present, sir. Ramesri, absent. Hari Krishna Gaur. Nagalakshmi. Present, sir. Present. Dilip. Present, sir. Aishwarya. Present, sir. Kalyan. Rohit 
रोहित के नंदिनी प्रेरण सर अन्वेश प्रेरण सर अन्वित रेड्डी प्रेजेंट ओके पूजा भोगेश्वर प्रेजेंट सर प्रेजेंट साई गणेश सर अखिला प्रेजेंट सर सिंधु एबसेंट प्रियदर्शनी एबसेंट नवीन एबसेंट मोनिका प्रेजेंट सर मोनिका प्रेजेंट ओके विल कंटिन्यू द नेक्स्ट क्लास राइट सर फोर जीरो सेवन सर फोर जीरो सेवन फोन इंकू प्रियदर्शी प्रेजेंट सर प्रियदर्शिनी फोन ओके एनी क्लारिफिकेशन क्लोजिंग द सेशन ओके ओके सर बाय 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 बाय